Okay, our final award of the evening, our Athlete of the Year presentation. The Notre Dame, this is Notre Dame's most prestigious athletic award. The most important criteria for selection, uh, selection is individual achievement and the person's contribution to his team and athletic program as a whole. The award is selected by the vote of all head coaches. This year, the award is given to a two-sport athlete. As a football player, he was named first team All-SEC, Levi Jackson All-Star Team, Walter Camp All-Star Team. He's a touchdown leader the last two seasons. He has played, as Coach DiCaprio alluded to to me earlier today, he has done kickoff returns, he has covered kicks, he has played running back, wide receiver, quarterback. As a lacrosse player, He's the all-time goals leader for Notre Dame High School. He was all SEC and all state as a junior and presumably will be again as a senior. He will attend UMass next year. This year's Athlete of the Year for 2019, Zach Hopkins. figure out that coach shape. I've been talking about you for athlete of the year. Uh, when he said two sport captain, I kind of realized he was talking about me and I got a little, started to get a little excited about it then. Did you think coming into tonight that you might you have a chance to walk away with the uh, highest award that we give athletically? Uh, I knew it was a possibility, but I also know that there's plenty of great athletes in my class who all are deserving of it. So um, I just figured maybe, maybe not. And, I it announced, you know, there's a lot of records that you hold. Is, is there one that means a little more to you than the rest of them? Uh, I think the goals record means a lot to me. Uh, previous holder was Ed Moran, who was a great lacrosse player. So it's, um, it, it's nice to have that award and have it broken it by a, who, a kid who was a great player. So that one means a lot to me. Going to UMass to play lacrosse, you know, what, what do you hope to accomplish at the next level? Uh, I hope to just, you know, continue working hard and accomplish everything I've done here, which is just just always hard work on the field and always playing as hard as possible, which is, I think puts me in the best situation. What are you going to miss about not having Zach next year? Oh my God, do we have an hour to speak. Um, you know, again, I, I would have to go with his leadership abilities and let's face it, I mean, he's a fantastic football player. He was an impact player both on the offense, the defense, and the special teams. So I will miss everything about him and we actually had a very special relationship, so I will keep in contact with him and follow his lacrosse career as well. So what has Zach meant to the team this year from a leadership standpoint? Um, he's meant a lot. Um, I mean, just on the field, it's pretty obvious. Facing off um, offense, um, he does a lot for us. He dominates a lot of aspects of the game. Um, but in terms of like his leadership and being a great teammate, um, he's been great in those aspects all year too. Um, he's done a great job with the younger guys. He, he went through, battled through some injuries in the beginning of the year. Um, and you know, kept showing up, kept doing the right thing. Uh, was was there for the guys, and uh, you know, was a leader throughout that whole time. Uh, and then, you know, when we got him back on the field in like his full capacity, it was uh, you could tell the difference that he made. For sure. Right, regardless of what sport a uh, prospective student athlete may be, tell them why they should come to Notre Dame and why it's such a special school. Uh, it's very special. They prepare you in the classroom and on the field to be the best that you can possibly be always, every day, day in, day out. I mean, on the field, they, they always push hard work and dedication and the same in the classroom, which is why it's so special here because you get the best of both worlds.